in my series on Dollar Tree jewelry gift ideas. Today I'm showing you how to create a beautiful wire wrapping for this blue painted glass gem. For this piece I'll be using a large glass gem from Dollar Tree, metallic acrylic paint, copper wire 20 and 24 gauge, and a set of jewelry tools, round nose pliers, needle nose pliers, and side cutters. You can get these from Walmart or any craft store. To create my large blue gemstone, I'm using the large clear gem from Dollar Tree. And I am brushing on some silver metallic paint on the flat side of the bottom of the gem. Now I want some greens and blues in this stone, so I'm mixing green with metallic blue and metallic yellow. And I'm going to dab that around the stone in pieces. I'm going to turn this over to see what it's looking like. I'm going to add a little blue, some touches of bronze, and I'm just going to dab and swirl the colors around a little bit. And I'm going to add a little black in a few places to give it some dimension. Some more green. And then I'll swirl the colors around a little bit. Now I like the way the colors are looking. I'm just going to try something a little different with this. I'm going to press this on the page and smear it a little. And it gives me this really interesting, veiny, organic look. Like a little art piece. Now that I have my pieces the way I want them, I'm going to let this dry. And you could put this in the oven to cure it. It just um, makes it more permanent, it makes it dishwasher safe, but you don't have to. So we'll just let this dry completely and then I'll show you how to do a really pretty wire wrap. Okay, so my blue painted stone is dry and as it dries it gets more metallic and so it looks really beautiful. Okay so what I want to do is make a nice framed wire wrap for this and I cut two pieces of gold copper wire that's 20 gauge and I cut my two pieces at 18 inches each. I am also going to be using gold wire that is 24 gauge and I am going to cut three pieces at three inches each. Now I'm going to find the center area of my two thick wires and I'm going to take one of my thin wires and I'm going to cross that inside the center of the two thick wires. Then I'm going to start to roll one side of the thin wire from the inside out. Roll it around the thick wire. Then at the end use your tools to um, cut the wire or turn it in. I'm going to turn in this wire. And then I'm going to roll the other side around. And I'm going to use the tools to squeeze the coils together to make it look neat as I roll it around. And you'll probably just need two inches of this thin wire. It doesn't have to be that long because the, the piece is pretty small. So right now I'm just going to shape the wire around the stone with the coils at the bottom. And I'm doing this right now just so I could see where the midpoint is on the sides. Because I'm taking those last two small thin pieces and I'm also doing coils on the side just like the one at the bottom. So that it looks like this. And I can adjust the coils because they still can move up and down. But what I want to do is with those two pieces in between the coils, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I am going to pull the front wire out. I'm going to make a little dip. I'm pulling the front out and the back out so it looks like a diamond. And I am going to do the same 
at the bottom on the other side. So I'm going to sit my stone inside this piece and I'm going to adjust the wire and shape it kind of mold it around the bottom part of my stone. I want to move the the little uh, coils down so that they're centered on the sides. So I'm going to take the stone out and pull the wire out some more and I'm going to push it inward so that it sort of curves around the stone. I'm making a more of a crimp so that it goes in more and I'm pushing it towards the inside so that it curves around the inside and I'm doing that on the front and the back. Now it's starting to fit in there a lot better. I'm going to keep molding that around. I'm pushing those little coils down so that they're centered. Now I'm going to turn this over to the back and take the wires that are at the top and push those down towards the back of the stone and I'm going to hold everything in position and twist those two wires a couple of times. Then I'm going to turn it over to the front and push those two wires down towards the center and I'm going to twist it just once. Then I'm going to take the left top wire and slip it through the curve that I made at the bottom. Pull that through. Then I'll take the right wire and slip that through the right bottom curve. Then I'll pull those two pieces up towards the top. Then I'm going to twist those two pieces up at the top towards the front and twist the two pieces in the back up towards the top. So now I'm going to twist the two twists together at the top. And I'm straightening the wires out. I'm taking a pencil and I'm just going to wrap all the wires around the pencil in one direction. I'm just going to twist all the wires around the bottom. And then I'll just cut off the excess wires and make the top neat and lastly I want to fan out the bail and there's my wrap so I just put it on a piece of wire that same 20 gauge wire and I put some toggles in the back and look at this this is beautiful this is my favorite Hey guys, check out my Etsy store where you can get some of the very projects made on this show. And for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. 
Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.